what is the two most powerful planets in this chart? Highest up. Huh? No. Okay, Sun in Gemini is essentially somebody can communicate and teach or write. It's a good for writing. The other, and it's in a career house, or it's right on the cusp. Actually, it's on the cusp of the 11th. So it tends to, by the way, uh, any, any indicator of planets or sun or whatever, if they're within eight degrees of a next cusp, tend to give it that next cusp, meaning within eight degrees applying to that cusp. In this case, it's only what? 23 to 29, it's only a few degrees to go till it's in that 11th house. It has a much of a more hopeful 11th house meaning. But the point I'm getting at is Uranus is in Taurus. Good, good, yeah, it does. Higher understanding, wisdom is the ninth house, good for you. That was a good reading. And Uranus is in that, what does Uranus rule? Astrology. I told you, I think from the beginning, you'd be a great astrologer with Uranus in the ninth. You will be if you stay with it. I promise that. Uh, you know, you know, you, you're. It's not. <laughs> you know, there's many things about this chart. The the fourth house rules the beginning of life, and the end. Did you know that? It rules both. You know, and your moon is in Sagittarius. It means that you have wisdom, a great amount of motherly wisdom, and wisdom as a woman. Okay. And this, is, this indicates to me with Jupiter moving up on that house as well, on that fourth house, that there's, there's work ahead for you. You know, you don't, you know, you don't realize what potential you have, I think, and so what capacity you have to be a counselor to others. Jupiter is the counselor, it's wisdom. Not only is it wisdom, but you have Sagittarius moon, which means a sagacious, Sagittarius, sagacious woman. And so you should be a counseling on some level whether it's working in a rape crisis center where you can talk to and counsel people and give them your wisdom, you have that ability. But it's more than, it's more than, than just wisdom like, you know, um, how do I say it? It's Sagittarian stuff, which is what I'm kind of about. It's, uh, it's, the, it's the, the philosophy of, of your approach to life and your attitude and your optimism and your faith. That's what you can give others. You can inspire and bring to others. And I'm sure you've done that with your children. You give them a, a visionary vision of things, which is good. You know, that's what Sedge is about. So in all, I mean, these are superficial, a little bit superficial readings, but I wanted you to do it, not me. I, I can read the charts pretty well. And I'm not, as I said, 100% all the time, but I know the ec es essence of the crosses. I know where they're gonna take you. And in this case, it all leads to the seventh house, husband, moon, See, also, whenever I see Moon Saturn, I usually think of parents, okay? But it also represents you and your mate, your husband, and especially in the seventh cusp. 